This video will show you the steps to create an ArcGIS Online web app by publishing a map using ArcGIS Pro. There are four steps to creating a web app. First, you're going to configure your map using ArcGIS Pro. You're then going to publish the map to ArcGIS Online. You're going to create the web app. And then finally, you're going to share your web app. Prior to getting started, you're going to want to head over to ArcGIS Online and make sure you have the ability to both log in and publish data. You may have to reach out to your organization's ESRI administrator in order to get those permissions. Prior to publishing your map, you're going to want to devote the necessary time to set up a decent ArcGIS project. You can see here that I've got two layers, one displaying neighborhood tree canopy and one displaying neighborhood surface temperature, both for the city of Pittsburgh. I've taken the time to give the layers meaningful names and also to configure the legends so that the data can be easily understood. You can adjust the display of your data along with the legend information over in the Symbology tab. For this percent neighborhood tree canopy data, I'm using a meaningful color scheme. You'll also notice that I've adjusted the labels so they actually show the percent values. Under the Advanced tab, you can get in and adjust those labels, eliminating unnecessary decimal places and choosing to display percent data with a percent symbol. I've also taken the time to configure my fields so that when I click on an individual neighborhood, only the requisite information comes up. You can see that each one of these fields has been carefully formatted to eliminate excess decimal places and show only the data I want to get across to the end user. This complete neighborhoods layer has an awful lot of information attached to it, and I don't need to display all of this. So by going up to the Data tab and selecting the Fields option, I can configure my attributes to only display what I want the end user to see. Checking the visible button controls what fields are displayed. You want to make sure that all the fields you're choosing to display have a meaningful alias and that if they are numeric data, that you formatted them correctly. Once you've looked everything over, don't forget to save your project. Now you're ready to publish this map and get it up on ArcGIS Online. The first step is to click on the Share tab. Under the options for Share As, click on the button for Web Map. This opens the Share As Web Map interface. You're going to fill out some key information required for ArcGIS Online, and you're also going to configure your Web Map settings. The name field cannot have any spaces or unusual characters. Your summary should be a clear and concise description of your Web Map. Add any keywords in the tag section that you think would help people find your map. Give some thought as to who you want to grant permission to view your web map. Is it just your organization, everyone in the world, or a select group of people for a group that you've created in ArcGIS Online? Chances are the default configuration setting is just fine. But if you're using your map for other purposes, such as data editing, you may want to change the configuration setting. Prior to sharing your map, you'll want to click on the Analyze button to make sure that the map's been configured correctly. If there's any errors that pop up here, those ones with a red X, you'll need to address them. Warning signs you can ignore, but you might want to consider fixing. You're now ready to publish the map. You can confirm your configuration settings, check any messages, and then when that's set, click the Share button. Once the share process is complete, you're set to move over to ArcGIS Online. Sharing a web map creates three new pieces of content within ArcGIS. We really care about the first one, which is the actual web map. So let's go in and explore the web map. This is a good place to check out and make sure that your settings, configurations, and everything in that web map turned out as you expected it. So opening in that web map viewer, turning on and off the layers, and checking your legends and symbology is a good thing to do prior to going ahead and using this web map within a web app. Once you've confirmed everything looks good, navigate back to the content section of ArcGIS Online. We're now going to use that web map as the foundation for building our web app. 
So from the Create menu, scroll down to the App section and choose using the Web App Builder. So we're going to create a new web app here. You're going to want to give it a title, tags, and some summary information, just like you did when you created your map in ArcGIS Pro. This will put you in the Web App Designer interface. First, you'll want to decide on a theme. Once you've selected a theme, you can make some modifications to its properties, like the colors. Don't worry if you don't like the theme, you can always play around and preview your web app and come back and adjust the theme later. Moving over to the Map tab, this is where you're going to choose the map, the one that you just published ArcGIS Online, that's going to participate in the web app. Go ahead and select your map, but keep in mind that you cannot make any modifications to the map within the web app designer interface. You've got to go back to the web map in order to make any changes. Given that we just made some modifications to the web app, it's a good idea to save it. We can further customize our web app through the use of widgets. Each web app by default has certain widgets included. We can choose to remove those widgets, add additional widgets, or reorder them. For this web app, I'm going to add a base map widget and a swipe widget. I'm now going to reorganize the widgets to change the order that they appear in in the web app. Under the Attributes tab, you can make some other minor changes, like adjusting the header text that will appear in the top banner. Down below, you can click on the Previews button. This is a really nice feature with the Web App Builder because it allows you to see how your web app will appear on various devices. Once you're happy with the previews, the final check should be to go ahead and launch your web app to see how it looks within your browser. This is where you'll want to check out all your widgets, preview the legends, and just make sure everything in general is working and appears as you wish it would. Remember, you can't make any changes to a lot of the key components here. You would have to go back to the actual web map to do that or possibly republish your data. This is why it's important to get it right early on. We're nearly done. Our final step is to go back into the ArcGIS Online content, select our web app, and go into the share settings. Remember we set the share settings when we published our map, but this is the app, and we have to set the app settings independently. Make sure that if you want everyone to see this, those not in your organization, that you check the box for everything. Once you have that set, scroll down to the bottom, copy the link, and you're ready to share your app. Thank you.